We're looking at Collingwood's pre-calculus text. This is the University of Washington's Math 120 textbook. Uh, and we're looking at chapter 2. Example 2.2.1 asks us to consider this giant block of data. Uh, the data represents the weekly sales numbers for some company. And the question that we're asked to consider is, how should we represent this data in order to communicate it effectively? This is a huge question in mathematics and more generally in life is we have some information. How can I communicate this information in order to have it received effectively, in order to have my audience actually see and understand what I'm trying to communicate with them? The data is given to us in the form of a table. And we notice in the table that the first column represents the week number, week number one, week number two, week number three, and the second number represents the total sales. So we can represent this using a coordinate system. In particular, we have a bunch of pairs of values. We have, after some rounding, these are the first three data points that we're given. Writing them in this sort of ordered pair notation makes me think that I could write them, or draw them, I could say, as part of a coordinate system. In particular, I could draw a coordinate system and plot the point 1, 11.05, and 2, 12.2. Now, in communicating this information effectively, I would not simply want I would not simply want to draw some axes, plot some points, and say, look, I've modeled the data. In particular, if you showed me this chart, I would say, uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. What other information do we need to include on graphs in general? Well, we should include some indication of the units involved and some labels of what we're actually talking about here. So I might label this by saying that my x-axis is representing the weeks, week number one, week number two, week number three, and my y-axis is representing my sales. But still, this isn't really getting the picture across because this 11 here is actually not clear still. What do I mean when I say that on week one I had 11 sales? What I particularly mean is, is that my y-axis is representing my sales numbers in thousands of dollars. So here my graph is actually communicating information. I have my week numbers and particularly if my graph went out to 52 weeks it would be quite clear that this is representing over the course of a year. And I have for each week the associated amount of sales in thousands of dollars. I'll point out that the range of sales numbers is really quite massive here. In particular, on week one, we have 11, meaning $11,000 of sales. And on week 50, we have 1,484. If I did draw my graph as is and tried to count up 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I would find that by week 50, there's no way this would fit nicely on my chart. So I need to actually pick the scale of the y-axis a little bit more carefully in order to do this. In particular, in the text, you can see that the y-axis is large enough to include all of the data. One choice that you might make here uh, in representing this data a little bit differently would be to have this y-axis grow a little bit differently. In the text, they have the y-axis grow 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200. Each notch is growing by 200. We might instead have decided to have our notches go 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and plot our data that way. Regardless, the emphasis in this section is about 
communicating data effectively. And in order to communicate data effectively using charts, we need labels, we need units, and we need a scale.